for an autosomal locus in an idealized situation, the hardware binary frequencies are attained after one generation of random mating, as I explained in the previous video. I'm Muhammad Sahib Hunam, and in this video I will consider the hardy weinberg law for X-linked loci. When males are the heterogametic sex, they are haploid for X-linked loci. Each male has only one allele instead of two and has two genotypes. In contrast, females are homogametic and diploid. For females, the relationship between allele frequencies and genotype frequencies is the same as with autosomal loci. Consider a population for 15 discrete generations. In each generation, there are 50,000 individuals with equal number of males and females. The population is in panmixia, or mate at random. The initial A1 allele frequency in males is half and in female is 0.8. There is no selection, mutation or migration in the population. There are three genotypes among females. A1, A1 homozygotes. A1, A2 heterozygotes and A2, A2 homozygotes. The genotype frequencies are calculated for the current generation by the division of the observed number of individuals in each group by the total number of individuals in the population. The frequency of A1 among the females in the current generation is calculated by the top equation. This is the frequency of eggs that contain A1 among the gametes produced by females. As stated before, males have only one X chromosome and only two genotypes, A1 and A2. They cannot be either homozygous or heterozygous. They are hemizygous. The genotype frequencies are calculated as before. The male allele frequencies for A1 and A2 are equal to the genotype frequencies. Half the sperm produced by males carry the Y chromosome. Among the half carrying the X chromosome, P sub M is the frequency of a sperm carrying A1. In the following generation, each female will receive two X chromosomes, one from her father and one from her mother. For females, the relationship between allele frequencies of parent generation and genotype frequencies of offspring is shown in the blue equation for each genotype. Consider the first and second generations. In the first generation, the P sub F is 0.65 and the P sub M is 0.8 and the product of these two numbers is 0.52 as we obtained in the simulation. The one allele frequency in females can be calculated by the mean of female and male A1 allele frequencies in a generation earlier, as shown in the second equation. In our case, the P sub F in the first generation is 0.65 and the P sub M is 0.8, so the mean is 0.72, which corresponds to what we have seen in the simulation. Males, on the other hand, receive the Y chromosome from their fathers and the X chromosome always come from their mothers. So the A1 frequency in males of spring will be equal to the female A1 frequency in the previous generation. The allele frequencies will change from one generation to the next. Until in some generation, the male and female allele frequencies become equal. At that moment, 
the population arrived at equilibrium and from then the allel frequencies and genotype frequencies remain constant from generation to generation. We can calculate the A1 allele frequency at equilibrium by using the weighted average of initial allele frequencies in the two sexes. The equation derived based on the fact that two-thirds of all X-linked alleles in the population are carried by the females and one-third by the males. If the initial allele frequencies for males and females were the same, the population would be in equilibrium. Let's rerun the simulation, but this time with equal initial allele frequencies for males and females. As the results demonstrate, the population is in equilibrium. Finally, I want to consider an extreme situation in which the A1 frequency in males is 0 and in female is 1. This case better depicts my aforementioned explanation about the change of allele frequencies between males and females. As the results denote, the population will gradually approach equilibrium. The sum and substance of this lecture is that, for X-linked loci, with different allele frequencies in their two sexes, the approach to equilibrium is gradual.